online marketplace TaskRabbit finds people willing to help with everyday work. The chores include assembling new furniture, washing dogs, running errands, and even waiting in a line. The company currently performs tasks in nearly 30 cities in the U.S. and U.K. This morning, TaskRabbit is announcing that it is expanding to 20 new cities. Next week, Detroit, Raleigh, Durham, and Nashville will be among the places to have the service. Stacy Brown Philpot is TaskRabbit's CEO. She joined the company about four years ago after spending nearly a decade at Google. Welcome, Stacy. Thank you. So this was founded, the company, in 2008. How does it work? So you can download an app and hire someone safe and reliably to come and do chores around your house. So in just five minutes, you can find a trusted person who can hang some shelves on a wall, assemble your IKEA furniture, or if you're moving, help you move, pack and unpack those boxes. What's the vetting process? How do we know, Stacey, the people coming into the home are safe? So all of our taskers go through a very rigorous vetting process that includes a background check mm -hmm. at the federal, state, and local level. They also get screened uh, with their bank account, and so we know who they are, and they verify their identity. So what are some of the craziest yeah, that's tasks? That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> what are the, <laughs> the craziest things they want? Because will doing. they really do anything, number one, I know they won't do anything, but will they do most things? And what's the craziest thing that you've heard? Not anything. Yeah. yeah. Most of our taskers are handymen or handy women. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, a guy, uh, his basement stairs collapsed and he fell and he was okay. So he posted in the task that he was okay, mm -hmm. but he was trapped in his basement. So he had his phone and he posted a task on TaskRabbit to have somebody come build stairs so he can get out of his basement. He didn't call 911? He didn't call 911. <laughs> yeah. The most important thing was to get out of the basement. Yeah. So the tasker came and built the stairs so he can get out of the basement. And what's the most frequent request? <laughs> the most frequent request is I buy furniture from Ikea or some yeah. other store and I need to get it put together. Simple, yeah. I think yeah. I can do it myself, but I really, really deep down I can't. And so I hire somebody. So at the company you were today. COO for many years and then you made the transition to CEO. What was that transition like for you? It was a pretty easy transition. Our founder knew each other really well. The hardest part was you become the CEO and now you have to define a vision, define a strategy, and lead people towards a goal that where they don't, they don't know if there's possible, but they can reach their potential. Is the essential thing to scale up so that you have enough cities in which you can perform? Absolutely. We want to be coast to coast and be coming to the heartland of America, which is what this expansion is about, is just essentially doing that. I want to ask you about the larger concerns, though, about the gig economy. And we have lots of other companies like yours. And I know there was one uh, TaskRabbit employee who was quoted in a recent New Yorker piece who said, these are jobs that don't lead to anything. It doesn't feel sustainable to me. Yeah, well, TaskRabbit is about job creation. Every day, what we get to do is help people find meaningful work. We have 30,000 people who show up on our site every month mm -hmm. who want a task on TaskRabbit. Mm -hmm. They make $35 an hour on average, which is five times the federal minimum wage. And so this is really about earning a meaningful income in a flexible way. But is it a sustainable income? I mean, you don't pay their version of the Social Security taxes, health care, all of those sorts of things. Most of our taskers are part-time. They have some other job that they're doing. It's a supplemental income. And then we offer access to benefits in, in, at, at a discount. So we offer access to health care. We offer access to 401k benefits. We offer access to tax planning and other things at a discount. For you grew up in Detroit, not exactly a hotbed of Silicon Valley kind of things. Mm -hmm. And you said growing up, you didn't really have access to black CEOs or even women CEOs. Do you think that that conversation is changing now? I do. I grew up in the city of Detroit with a single mom who didn't have a lot of resources to take care of me and my brother. I wish TaskRabbit existed <laughs> yes. when we were growing up, but it didn't. And so I get to do this every day where people can now come and find these jobs. And so the conversation is changing. I'm the CEO. I'm a representative of what you can become if you work hard and you focus on, on your education. And, the, and, and in Silicon Valley, we're talking about it. And I'm, I'm glad that the conversations are happening. We need to do more. Yeah. Yes. And it's a great company. Charlie has asked me several times, can, well, can I, how, what's this task grab it? I could use this. Yes, <laughs> and now we know. And now we know. Thank, Thank you, you. Stacey Brown-Philpott.